Hello and welcome back. Today, we will dive into the history of supersonic flights, discuss why they were banned, and explore the recent developments and future of this fascinating technology. Before that, make sure you subscribe the macula, because it will clear your vision to see the future. Now fasten your seatbelts to fly on supersonic speed. Supersonic flights, also known as flights that exceed the speed of sound, were first achieved by the Bell X-1 aircraft in 1947. The Bell X-1 was flown by pilot Chuck Yeager, who broke the sound barrier for the first time in history. This achievement marked a significant milestone in aviation history, opening up new possibilities for air travel. In the years following the Bell X-1's successful supersonic flight, many countries invested in developing their own supersonic aircraft. The United States, Russia, France, and the United Kingdom all had their own supersonic planes that could fly faster than the speed of sound. These planes were often used for military purposes, but there were also attempts to commercialize supersonic flight. In 1976, the first commercial supersonic flight was made by the Concorde, a British-French aircraft. The Concorde could fly at twice the speed of sound and was used for transatlantic flights between Europe and North America. The Concorde was known for its luxurious amenities and became a symbol of the high life for many travelers. However, the Concorde's success was short-lived. In 2000, an Air France Concorde crashed shortly after takeoff, killing all 109 people on board and four people on the ground. The accident was caused by a burst tire, which caused debris to puncture the fuel tank, leading to a fire. The incident led to the grounding of all Concorde flights and an investigation into the safety of supersonic flight. In 2003, the Concorde was officially retired, and supersonic flight was effectively banned. The main reason for the ban was safety concerns, as the Concorde accident highlighted the dangers of supersonic flight. There were also environmental concerns, as supersonic aircraft emit large amounts of noise and pollution. However, in recent years, there has been renewed interest in supersonic flight. Several companies, such as Boom Supersonic and Arian Supersonic, are working on developing supersonic planes that are safer and more environmentally friendly than the Concorde. These new planes are expected to be able to fly at speeds of Mach 2.2 to 2.4, which is significantly faster than current commercial planes. One of the biggest challenges facing the development of new supersonic planes is noise pollution. Supersonic aircraft create a loud sonic boom when they break the sound barrier, which can be heard for miles around. To address this issue, companies are developing new technologies that can reduce the noise created by supersonic flight. Another challenge facing supersonic flight is the cost. The Concorde was an expensive aircraft to operate, and its high cost was one of the factors that led to its eventual retirement. To make supersonic flight viable, new planes will need to be more efficient and cost-effective than the Concorde. Despite these challenges, there is a growing demand for faster and more efficient air travel. Supersonic flights could reduce travel times and make it easier for people to travel long distances. They could also be used for emergency medical transport and other time-sensitive situations. In addition to commercial use, there are also military applications for supersonic flight. Supersonic planes can be used for reconnaissance, surveillance, and other military operations. The development of new supersonic planes could give countries a strategic advantage in the event of a conflict. That was the history. Now let's talk about future of commercial supersonic flights. Destinus says traveling Frankfurt to Dubai in 90 minutes will be possible so soon. What is Destinus and how does it plan to achieve hypersonic travel? Destinus is a European hypersonic startup that aims to bring hypersonic travel to the masses. The company is developing hydrogen-powered planes that can fly at five times the speed of sound reducing flight duration to less than a quarter of current commercial air travel. It plans to start with smaller size drones before scaling up to a larger, pilot-driven or passenger-carrying aircraft. Hydrogen is the company's fuel of choice due to its clean, renewable energy source, increasing affordability, 
and potential to help realize its speed and long-range ambitions. Destinus's prototypes are blended body planes in the Waverider shape, a hypersonic design that has been studied for many years. The company is refining and adjusting the design with every new prototype. Destinus's upcoming prototype, Destinus 3, is set to achieve supersonic hydrogen-powered flight in 2024. The company hopes to launch a smaller-scale aircraft holding around 25 passengers by the 2030s, which will be fully focused on business-class customers. Its fully scaled-up version by the 2040s will have multiple classes, including economy. The company's plans are dependent on the hydrogen market, but it recently acquired a Dutch company, now named Destinus Energy, which has gas turbines that are already being sold. The company also secured grants worth 26.7 million euros, 29.4 million dollars, from the Spanish government in April 2023 to expand its hydrogen propulsion capabilities. One of the biggest challenges Destinus will face is regulatory approval. The company has yet to receive certification from aviation authorities, and regulatory hurdles have been a major obstacle for other hypersonic and supersonic projects in the past. Another challenge is public perception. The Concorde's loud sonic boom and high ticket prices led to complaints from communities near airports and ultimately contributed to the plane's demise. Destinus is developing anti-boom technology to address this issue, but it remains to be seen whether the public will embrace hypersonic travel. Despite these challenges, the promise of ultra-fast, efficient, and environmentally friendly air travel is enticing. If Destinus can deliver on its vision, it could transform the way we think about air travel and make the world feel just a little bit smaller. So, let's sum up. Destinus is a European hypersonic startup that is developing hydrogen-powered flight at five times the speed of sound, promising flight durations less than a quarter of current commercial air travel. Its prototypes are blended body planes in the Waverider shape, and the company is refining and adjusting the design with each new prototype. Destinus hopes to achieve supersonic hydrogen-powered flight with its upcoming prototype, and to launch a smaller-scale aircraft holding around 25 passengers by the 2030s. The long-term goal is to be fully hydrogen-powered and zero emissions by the 2040s. The company faces challenges such as regulatory approval and public perception, but if it can overcome these obstacles, it could revolutionize air travel. Overall, the future of supersonic flight is looking bright. While there are still many challenges to overcome, companies are making progress in developing new planes that are safer, more environmentally friendly, and more cost-effective. That's all for today. If you learned something new from this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the Macula for more interesting videos.